Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool talk is going to be about the Klein Tools K-Nect or Connect. I'm not sure which way they're calling that, but I've seen several videos here lately, whether it was Klein's own video, Coolum with Kraus just had one, and then Jonathan LD312 had one as well. I saw that early on, and I noticed in the comment section of a lot of those videos, many people were saying, man, I wish they had a metric version, or those look a lot like the gear wrench, or those look a lot like the Crescent. I wonder if they would work. And then many of you have mentioned to me about the Klein ones in my 11-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver set that I needed to check those out. So that's what caused me to start looking for them. And if anything, what it's made me realize was I needed me a pass-through socket set because after I got to thinking about it, I don't know why I haven't had one already, but I sure needed to get one. Well, I went out and I bought a gear wrench, quarter-inch size pass-through socket, and then I bought this Crescent 3-8 size uh, socket set. I don't think they have a quarter-inch set. I fully didn't expect the Crescent to work with them being 3 8 but I was hoping that the gear wrench was going to work because the Klein K-Nect quarter-inch set costs $50, and it's just SAE. Very few sizes, even though it's a 32-piece set, the majority of those pieces are bit drivers, and, you know, I just don't need those at all. And I thought to myself, you know, that gear wrench, whenever I looked at the picture, that does look a whole lot like, you know, the same kind of situation that the Klein has going on. And in case you don't know... The Ratcheting 11-in-1, if you haven't seen any of the videos yet, Klein sells that set with the, with the ratchet and all those things. But if you take out your shaft on your 11-in-1, that's what that 12-point socket right there is for. It takes those K-neck sockets, they fit inside of here to basically turn uh, your ratcheting screwdriver into a nut driver that's also a pass-through that works with the sockets as well. As I bought the gear wrench to try out, I got this 10 millimeter for $6 to try it. But I was hoping the gear wrench was going to work because the quarter inch set of the gear wrench, even though it's $64, which is more than the $50 Klein, uh, you get metric, you get SAE, you get a lot more sockets. It was going to be more bang for your buck, and I was going to go that route instead. But unfortunately, they're too small, and it does not connect. So there you go. The gear wrench quarter inch does not work. Uh, so you can't use it with your Klein screwdriver. So that may lean me towards at some point I might buy that Klein quarter inch. I don't know that I'm going to buy the 3 8 because I'm pretty sure the 3 8 connect doesn't work inside of this. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below on that. Uh, so then I saw this Crescent uh, 3 8 socket set, pass-through set. Part number on it is CX6PT25. It is a 25-piece set. It's got SAE from 3 8 to 7 8 and then it has 10 millimeter to 19 millimeter in metric. Also comes with a few bit drivers, just your standard Phillips and slotted screw driving bits. Then it comes with the adapter to take those bits that works with your pass-through sockets. And it also comes with an adapter that you can uh, put your regular 3 8 drive sockets on in case you want to use this with that ratchet, which I needed a 3 8 ratchet to put in my truck anyways. So that works out well for me. So... This is the pass-through set. I've got the 9 16 in here, and in case you don't know what a pass-through set is, and maybe you're going to be like me and realize, hey, I can't believe I don't have one of these yet. Uh, this is basically a hollow, so it's an infinite deep well socket. So I can continue to go as deep as I want to. So if you have situations like you've got some all-thread threaded rod here, I can go down and get on that nut. No matter if it was all the way down here this far, I can continue to go down through because you see the rod goes through the ratchet and then I could work it that way get whatever it is tightened up however I need it to work so if you run into situations like that you may find that a socket set like this is going to be a must for you and the 3 8 K neck set which again is only SAE is going to run you $70 versus this crescent set right here is going to run you $29 and you get metric SAE all these sizes right here those rails I'm going to need to find me a case uh, to put these in so I can keep them in my truck maybe a little bit better. Uh, but I think to me that's a much better deal for your dollar. And I'm going to keep this 3.8 set. I planned on buying this set. And then if for some reason the gear wrench, quarter inch worked and I had metric and SA in the quarter inch, I might have sent this one back. But I think I'm going to keep this as a 3.8 set no matter what because I think it's a good price in comparison to the Klein. I may still end up picking up the Klein quarter inch. I haven't decided yet, but you can't get the 3 8 anyways. It's all sold out. So again, this is just a tool talk, not a review. I probably went into a little bit more on those than what I planned on giving you the sizes and all those things like that. But I'm mostly sharing with you 
what you get in this set because for $29, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. I just got them, so I can't tell you about longevity and how much torque you can apply to them and things like that. But for a pass-through set, I think that's a pretty good price. Neither one of these that I have work with the 11-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver, so that's another part of this tool talk. As with all the other ones, it's kind of a conversation I'd like to have in the comment section. Maybe some of you have bought this ratcheting 11-in-1. You didn't know anything about the Klein K-Neck yet. You didn't know that you could put something in that. That is basically a half-inch socket. So maybe you've got some pass-through socket sets. I know Husky has some. Uh, maybe there's some other brands out there. If you've got some out in your garage, you've got some in your truck, and you bought this screwdriver in the last little bit, why don't you go out and give it a try, see if it works, see if it connects in there to where you can use it, and then drop that in the comments below. Either drop, say, hey, I've got the Husky set, it doesn't work either, or I've got the Husky set and it does. Let us know in the comments below because I know there's a lot of people out there looking for metric in all these things. So if, if, if you've got one, it would be handy to let everyone know that. So that's the goal behind this video is to get that conversation started. So check the comments below if you're here looking uh, for something else that might work for you. But that's the go. Hope it was useful. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think about any of this. And again, help us out. Help us try to find the right socket set that's going to work for it. Uh, hope you all stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.